in this diagram they want you to find the value of angle PQR angle PQR this angle here they want you to find this angle here now when you look at this triangle here this is a good example of this is a good example of an isosceles triangle so let me just remind you about the properties of an isosceles triangle uh, if this side and this side so this side and this side are equal now if this Two, if these two sides are equal, it means these base angles are also going to be equal. So when you look at this, uh, this side is equal to this side. No wonder they have put this, meaning these are now base angles. Just that this uh, triangle, just that this triangle is lying horizontally. So meaning this angle here and this angle. Uh, are equal because they are base angles okay so meaning for us to find for us to find the value of uh, this angle here angle pqr uh, we need to first find the value of x now how are we going to find the value of x we are going to equate whatever is on this angle to this angle because these base angles are equal so we are going to say uh, this is 3x plus 31 so 3x plus 31 uh, should be equal to this one 91 minus 21 91 minus 21 sorry my 91 minus 2x 91 minus 2x uh, this is 2x now we solve remember we are solving for x we want to solve for x so since we are looking for the value of x we are going to remove this other term that has no x in other words we are collecting like terms together so how, this is positive 31 how are we going to remove positive 31 on the left hand side so we're going to remove it by active inverse we're going to subtract 31 so that when you say 31 minus 31 this becomes a zero you only remain with this so what you've done on the left hand side you do the same on the right hand side of an equation so that you don't change anything the value of the equation remains the same so you've subtracted 31 here you also subtract 31 here so this becomes a zero what will remain is that so you have 3x is equal to 91 minus 31 is 60 then minus 2x at this point m at collecting like terms together meaning this term has to be to be has to be eliminated has to be removed from the right hand side so this is negative 2x so for us to remove negative 2x, we are going to add 2x so that when you say two, negative 2x plus x, it's a 0. So what we've done on the right, again, we do the same on the left so that the equation remains balanced. So 3x plus 2x, this will be 5x, is equal to uh, 60 this is now a zero so what will remain here is just 60 uh, to get the value of of x divide through by 5 so you have x is equal to 60 divided by 5 is 12 so the value of x is 12 now for us to find this angle here we need to find the actual size of this angle by replacing or by substituting the value of x in everywhere where there is x in these angles okay so let's substitute in there we are going to have 3x plus 31 so where there is x we replace a 12 because we know now we now know that x is 12 so we have 3 times 12 plus 3 oh this is actually 31 sorry 
So 3 times 12 is uh, 36 plus 31. 36 plus 31 is 67 degrees. Okay? So meaning this angle here is 67 degrees. If you want, you can just jump and conclude that this angle also is 67 degrees because we said these are equal. All right? Okay? These are equal. But for the sake of peace, let's just also prove this. So 91 minus 2x. So 91 minus 2. Where there's x, we put 12. So 91 minus 24. And this gives 67 degrees. So this side you have 67 degrees. Also this is 67 degrees. Okay? Now, to find this angle here, which is PQR, uh, we are going to use the property. We are going to use the property of angle sum in a triangle. When you add this angle plus this angle plus this angle, we should get 180. So let's give this angle here a, a, a name, or let's say Y, so that when we say 67 plus 67 plus Y, we should get it. 180 so we are saying 67 degrees plus 67 degrees plus y uh, y is equal to 180 degrees because angle sum of a triangle uh, add up to 180 okay 67 plus 67 is 134 plus y is equal to 180 degrees okay now remember we are looking for the value of y and this is positive 30 134 so we are going to remove this by additive inverse we are going to subtract 134 degrees on both sides so that the remain the the, the, the the equation remains balanced okay so this becomes a zero all will remain is see, y is equal to 180 minus uh, 134 is 40, 46 degrees. 46 degrees. You even conclude now, therefore, angle uh, P uh, Q R is equal to 46 degrees. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Uh, uh, comment, hit the like button and share. Goodbye. See you in the next video.